So you're ready to teach your student how to use a screen reader? Well, now you just have to figure out how to get that JAWS license paid for, right? Wrong. Why not use NVDA? Today on Tech Tip Tuesday, we are going to be downloading and installing the world's first real free screen reader for Windows PCs. Stick around. So many people think that just because NVDA is free means that it's not as good as JAWS. This is not true. NVDA has all of the main features that JAWS does, and because it's free, it is the most popular screen reader in the world. So today we're going to be showing you how to download and install NVDA right here on this computer. Now we will be sending an email out this Thursday with step-by-step -step instructions on everything we're going to cover in this video. If you want that email in your inbox, click the link below to sign up for our Screen Reader Tidbits emails. Those come out every week and show step-by-step -step instructions on screen reader beginner skills. All right, let's get started. So first I'm going to go to nvaccess.org. I'm going to open up Google here, nvaccess.org slash download. All right. Now NV Access is a nonprofit organization and remember they put out a free screen reader so we really want you to consider donating. Now if you don't want to donate at this time that is okay. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. I'm going to put skip donation at this time and then you're going to click download. Now once that is downloaded I'm going to click that exe file down in my downloads bar and you're going to hear that NVDA startup chime. Let's hear it. There it is. Now you want to read your terms of service, of course, and click I agree. But now we have a decision to make here. We can either install NVDA on this computer or we can install a portable copy. Now you might be thinking, what in the world is a portable copy of NVDA? Well, sign up for our Screen Reader Tidbits emails using the link below. We're going to be covering that in this week's email. It's really cool, so don't miss it. So I'm going to click I agree. I agree. And I'm going to download on this computer. Install NVDA on this computer. Now we have to figure out, do I want to install this on the login screen? If you're a screen reader user, you definitely want to do this. If you're a visual user or you're just doing this for practice, I'm going to, you're going to uncheck that. I'm going to press continue here. Installing Secure NVDA install. dialog, please wait while And NVDA it's installing. Now once NVDA installs, you're going to have this welcome to NVDA dialog box pop up on your screen. Now this includes really important settings that you need to make sure that you're set using NVDA. The first thing is your keyboard layout. I'm using a laptop here or a Surface Pro, but I'm going to change that to laptop. Keyboard layout, options grouping, laptop. All right. The next thing is you can see this checkbox that says use caps lock as the NVDA modifier. Please make sure you check that checkbox. Use caps lock as an F space checked. Now the last thing that you need to know is of course how to exit or quit NVDA. The way to do that is going to be caps lock and Q. Exit NVDA dialog. And then it says do you want to exit? Yes I do. I'm going to press enter. And and now NVDA is off. Next week here on Tech Tip Tuesday, we're going to be covering what in the world is that NVDA key and why do we have to make sure that it's caps lock. That's going to be right here next week, Tech Tip Tuesday. Don't miss it.